Good afternoon, everyone. I am Richard Young, an associate within the Investment Banking Division at Citi and MLT Career Prep 2007 alum. Hello, everybody. My name is Jerron Davis, and I'm a senior at the University of Maryland College Park and incoming investment banking analyst at Citi and MOT Career Prep Fellow Class of 2014. And I feel extremely fortunate to be able to say those things. Looking back, mentoring definitely played a significant role in my development as it was while I was mentoring and giving a speech to fellows of the Mentoring and Manhood organization that I met at MLT alumni who referred me to the program and it was a pivotal point in my life when I finally got accepted into MLT my junior year of college. As many of you know, MLT is a nonprofit that equips underrepresented minorities to compete and succeed at the highest levels of the corporate, nonprofit, and entrepreneurial sectors. Through MLT, African Americans, Native Americans, and Hispanics get access to a personalized playbook, professional development skills, career-long coaching, and door-opening opportunities to leading companies, nonprofits, and top graduate business schools around the country. Since its inception, MLT has transformed the lives of more than 4,000 rising leaders, and both Jerron and I are proud to be one of them. Uh, both City and MLT have meant a lot to me and Jerron. Uh, both Jerron and I are acutely aware of the importance of mentorship. Uh, as an undergraduate government major not too far from here at Howard University, <laughs> shout out to Howard, <laughs> I had no idea what Wall Street was about, but thanks to the invaluable help and support of MLT, I was able to gain an understanding of what the financial service industry was all about. And I actually started to get interested in city at a fairly young age. It was on my fifth birthday when I overheard my parents discussing the merger between City Corp and Travelers Group, and which literally occurred one day before my birthday, and my mother wanted to purchase stock in the company. And being five years old, I remember um, thinking to myself, wow, my mom really likes this City company. <laughs> well, if for some reason being a Pokemon trainer doesn't work out, I might have to <laughs> check out this City company. And it was my favorite bank from that point on. And moving forward to the college years after I learned more about the company, the industry, and exactly what I wanted to do, it was particularly interesting to me when I found out that Citi was one of MOT's corporate partners. And that was when I knew this was my chance to be an investment banking analyst at Citi. Looking back, MOT definitely helped me to mature and develop in preparation for achieving my goals. The first MOT seminar was in New York, and that was the first time I had ever traveled outside of Maryland by myself and the seminar, the entire experience as a whole, definitely opened my eyes to opportunities that I could pursue. And I ended up applying to the Summer Investment Banking Internship Program with City that year, and I didn't even make it to the first round. I finally applied to the position I wanted at the company I wanted to work for, and I didn't even make it to the first round. I remember feeling down and admitting to myself, just saying, ah, I lost that battle. But I just still wasn't convinced that I was going to lose the war, so I adjusted. I continued to network and gain connections, and it was at that final MOT seminar this past August that I applied for the full-time investment banking program with Citi, and fortunately, I made it to the first round. That's where I had the opportunity to interview with Richard and made it past that round, and after that, Richard really mentored me through all the way to the final round interviews there. Like Jerron, I, too, was driven and hungry, and also, like Jerron, I needed somebody to come in and say, this is how you do it. This is how you present yourself. This is how you convey that you're the right person for the job. Um, at City, whenever we identify high potential candidates, we pair them with people in the business. And part of the reason I took to Jerron for a mentorship relationship is that I saw a bit of myself in him, a young person that was excited and eager about a career on Wall Street. Making a difference in rising leaders' lives is absolutely worth the time and effort that I've invested in their potential. Uh, in fact, Jerron and I literally had a standing appointment every single day leading up to his final round interviews with Citi. Getting the job offer is not only a testament to how much hard work and dedication he put into the process, 
it's also a huge win for City to be able to hire someone with so much talent and so much energy. I was privileged to be there to support Jerron along the way, and I look forward to supporting him as he starts his career as a full-time analyst at the firm in a few months. Every one of us can work together to take concrete steps to ensure that young Americans are thriving in their jobs, in their schools, and in their community. Helping our youth get ahead is not simply altruistic. It improves our economy, our society, and our global competitiveness. When our youth do well, we all do well. Richard truly was a monumental, had a monumental role in my success. As we mentioned before, we literally had a standing appointment every day leading up to my final round interviews just to ensure that I was well prepared. And even after I received the full-time offer, Richard continued to invest in me and continued to be a mentor for me. And I'm not sure I would have been able to do it without him. And also MLT's network and access to opportunities also played a helping hand. And just City's culture of people in general who aren't afraid to help and facilitate and mentor individuals to success is another reason I'm here today, ready to join City as an investment banking analyst this fall in New York City. Thank you. City was one of the uh, earliest MLT partners and still remains a significant supporter of its mission today. Uh, the City Foundation has afforded great opportunities to combine its philanthropic efforts with employee engagement. A great example of this is the Pro Pathways to Progress initiative, a $50 million three-year initiative funded by the City Foundation. Through four founding partnerships focused on entrepreneurship, mentorship, summer employment, and civic engagement, the campaign connects youth ages 16 to 24 with opportunities to fuel their own career ambitions and develop skills that are needed in the 21st century economy. Each of us, including employees, educational institutions, nonprofits, philanthropies, policymakers, and young Americans can help realize this goal. We got this. The City Foundation knows the importance of mentorships and the number of low income and first generation students in the United States that can go on to college and complete it successfully, just like Jerron did. Understanding that critical need is why I personally mentor people informally and also why I became an MLT coach to first generation college students in MLT Ascend, which is the new college readiness and college success, pardon me, and readiness program in partnerships with the City Foundation Pathways to Progress initiative. I truly am proud to, to stand before you and say that I work for a company that has made such a deep investment in mentoring. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.